What's going on everybody? Um, I thought I was going to have a, a small amount today because I planned on going to scratch and spin uh, while I was going to do laundry. There was um, a couple kind of bargain buys I was going to get and then I knew I had uh, what I thought was one coming in the mail today. And then I got the surprise from my wife that she got me a gift certificate to the record store for Father's Day. So, instead of the possibility of three, there's eight today. Which finally puts me over, puts us over the 100 mark. Um, so I'll just go ahead and get right to it. Um, get to the one, uh, one of the ones my wife ordered first. This is a... 1981 release Joan Jet I love rock and roll that's one of um, some orders we still have yet to come in then the one I knew was coming um, 1978 self-titled Molly Hatchet this actually was supposed to be the first Molly Hatchet in the collection before I went to the flea market and saw beating the odds. So, kind of the first, but not the first to actually enter the house. And I, I actually bought this because um, I listened to it the other day. Um, I forget where I was going. I listened to it on Amazon Prime. Uh, really my first time kind of ever really listening to Molly Hatchet. And I decided pretty much after that I was going to order that. Uh, one of the ones I wasn't like, expecting because it never had a a tracking number or anything else. Um, this is the cover really beat to shit, kind of. But um, Raven live at the Inferno. As you can see, a lot of wear on the front and on the back. The inside doesn't look too bad, though. The inside looks all right. And this is a... Uh, let's see what, what year this was. It's not going to tell me on that side. Probably let's look at the first one. Uh... It doesn't say on this one either. So I'm not really sure what, what year this is. Daisy, you want to come say hi in the video? No, you're going to walk back there? Okay. There you want to. So, now I'm going to get to the ones that I got with my gift certificate and partial sum of my money too because I couldn't decide. The guy, when, right when we were checking out the first time with the, the two bargain deals that I got, he comes in with a stack of records, and I looked through them, and that's when my wife was like, well, I'll go ahead and let him know that I got him the gift certificate. So we immediately went to the house real quick, came back, and I spent the gift certificate money. So like I said, there was a lot for me to choose from, but I only picked out three. Um, the first one... I'm going to show you is King Diamond Them, which is a 2020 reissue of the 1988 album. And after The Graveyard, this is probably my, my second favorite um, King Diamond solo album. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic, but I'm going to now because it's not your standard black vinyl. As with the other King Diamond that I have, which is an orange one, this one is um, a blue and black marble look that we're going to look at. And there's the back of it. So yeah, here's the kind of splattered blue and black look. He had like four King Diamond albums that he um, kind of walked back in with. But I chose to get this one. I know he had Conspiracy. Uh, 
Um, I want to say the eye and spider's lullaby, I think, were the other ones that he had. The second one, which is actually the first one that I saw on the stack, is my favorite um, 70s Priest album, released in 1978, Stained Class. So this will bring the uh, Priest collection to three. Two studio and one live. I definitely think trying to get plastic off of a record is a whole lot harder than trying to get it off of a CD. That much I will say. The back of the jacket. This is probably going to be a, a black one just like Ram It Down was. But we'll see. Maybe I'll get surprised. Yep, black. And the last one that I picked up with the gift certificate or part of the gift certificate money my favorite Slayer album released in 1990, Seasons in the Abyss. So finally getting Slayer in the collection. He had Divine Intervention, I think Rain and Blood too, was there. As my wife just chimes in, they had Rain and Blood? I told her to go look before we left, but she, did, she didn't want to go look through nothing. So, it's not my fault. This is such a pain in the ass to get into. I probably should have brought the kitchen knife that I used to open the mail orders. You know what? I'll open this later. Because this is taking too long. Alright, now to the two bargain buys that I got which was the only one I intended to actually buy today. Um, I heard about this band off the Classic Rock Station. I don't listen to um, the radio that often, just because for the most part they play the same stuff. And, um, you know, they don't play a lot of uh, things that I haven't heard. But this next band... Um, I bought two of them after hearing them on the on the radio. The band is called Red Rider, and I got um, their debut album, Don't Fight It. And I think their fourth album, I'm probably going to butcher the pronouncing, but Neruda is how I think it's pronounced. Um, they're a Canadian rock band. The Don't Fight It, I believe, was 1978 when I had looked it up. Let's see what it says on here. Well, I got 1980 on this one, so maybe I was wrong. And I got them for a total of $14. So that's really not too bad. Um, and this one's 1983, the Naruto's 1983. So added this new band to my collection. So now, like I said, we're sitting at 105. Both of us have some orders still to come in. They'll probably trickle in through the rest of the week. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks and God bless.